guys um i come to karen reading our story charlie and the chocolate factory today um and i'm in a different room i know some of you said on the phone that you like seeing different rooms so i've gone in a different room today so we found out a bit about charlie bucket's family and we found out that he lives very close to the chocolate factory so our next chapter is called mr willy wonka's factory in the evenings after he had finished his supper of watery cabbage soup charlie always went into the room of his four grandparents to listen to their stories then afterwards say good night every one of these old people were over 90 they were uh, <laughs> They were as shriveled as prunes and as bony as skeletons and throughout the day until Charlie made his appearance they lay huddled in one bed, two at either end, with a night with nightcaps on to keep their heads warm, dozing the time away with nothing to do. Oh dear. But as soon as they heard the door opening and heard Charlie's voice saying Good evening, Grandpa Joe and Grandma Josephine and Grandpa George and Grandpa Grandma Georgina. And then all four of them would suddenly sit up and their old wrinkly faces would light up with smiles of pleasure and they and the talking would begin. For they loved this little boy. He was the only bright thing in their lives and in his evening visits were something that they looked forward to all day long. Often Charlie's mother and father would listen. Excuse me. Often Charlie's mother and father would come in as well, stand by the door, listening to the stories that the old people told. And thus, for, the, for perhaps half an hour every night, this room would become a happy place and the whole family would forget that it was hungry and poor. One evening when Charlie went in to see his grandparents, he said to them, Is it really true that Wonka's Chocolate Factory is the biggest in the world? True, cried all four of them at once. Of course it's true. Good heavens, didn't you know that? It's about 50 times as big as any other. And is Mr Won Willy Wonka really the cleverest chocolate maker in the world. My dear boy, said Grandpa Joe, raising himself up a little higher on his pillow. Mr Willy Wonka is the most amazing and most fantastic and the most extraordinary chocolate maker the world has ever seen. And I thought everybody knew that. I knew he was the most famous Grandpa Joe, and I thought he was very clever. Clever, cried the man. He's more than that. He's a magician with chocolate. He can make anything, anything he wants. Isn't that a fact, my dears? The other old three people nodded their heads slowly up and down and said, absolutely true, just as true as it can be. And Grandpa Joe said, you mean to say I have never told you about Mr Willy Wonka and his factory? Never, answered little Charlie. Good heavens above, I don't know what's the matter with me. Will you tell me now, Grandpa Joe, please? I certainly will. Sit down beside me on the bed, my dear, and listen carefully. Grandpa Joe was the oldest of the four grandparents. He was 96 and a half, and that's just about as old as anyone can be. Like all extremely old people, he was delicate and weak, and throughout the day he spoke very little. But in the evenings when Charlie, his beloved grandson, was in the room, he seemed in some marvellous way to grow quite young again. All his tiredness fell away from him and he and he became eager and excited as if he was a young boy. Oh, what a man he is, that Mr Willy Wonga, cried Grandpa Joe. Did you know, for example, that he has, has himself invented more than 200 kinds of chocolate bars, each with a different centre, 
each far sweeter and creamier and more delicious than anything else that other chocolate factories can make. Perfectly true, cried Grandma Josephine, and he sends them all the four centres of the earth. Isn't that so, Grandpa Joe? It is, my dear, it is, and all the kings and all the presidents in the world as well, but it isn't only chocolate bars he makes. Oh, my dear me, no. He can said sometimes have fantastic inventions up his sleeve. Mr. Willy Wonka has. Did you know that he invented a way of making chocolate ice cream so it stays cold for hours and hours without being in the refrigerator? You can leave it lying in the sun all morning on a hot day and it won't go runny. But that's impossible, said little Charlie, staring at his grandfather. Of course it's impossible, cried Grandpa Joe. It's completely absurd, but Mr Willy Wonka has done it. Quite right, the others agreed, nodding their heads. Mr Willy Wonka has done it. And then again... Grandpa Joe went on speaking very slowly now so that Charlie wouldn't miss a word. Mr. Willy Wonka can make marshmallows that taste of violets and rich caramel that changes colour every 10 seconds as you suck on them and little feathery sweets that melt away a delicious moment that you put on your lips. He can make chewing gum that never loses its taste and sugar balloons that you can blow up to the enormous size before popping them with a pin and gobbling them up. And by the most secret method, he can make lovely bluebirds' eggs with black spots on them. And when you put these in your mouth, it gradually gets smaller and smaller until suddenly there's nothing left except a tiny pink sugary baby bird sitting on the tip of your tongue. Grandpa Joe paused and ran the point of his, of his tongue slowly over his lips. It makes my mouth water just thinking about it, he said. Mine too, said little Charlie, but please go on. While they were talking, Mr and Mrs Bucket, Charlie's mother and father, had come quietly into the room and they now were both standing just inside the door, listening. Tell Charlie about that crazy Indian prince, said Grandma Josephine. He'd like to hear that. You mean Prince Pondicherry, said Grandpa Joe. He began to chuckle with laughter. Completely dotty, said Grandpa Joe, but very rich, said Grandma jo Georgina. What did he do, asked Charlie eagerly. Listen, said Grandpa Joe, and I will tell you. Right, I'm going to stop there. It, that's the end of the chapter. The next one is called Mr. Wonka and the Indian Prince. Now I wonder what that's about. So I will come back on here and read another chapter really soon. Bye, guys.